What's up everybody? I'm John. This is my channel, Elite Gamers United. Before we start on this uh, dumpster fire of a game, let's call out a few, sh uh, few shoutouts. Hydro, John Piss, and uh, forgot the other name, but it was uh, something like a wet fart 69. I don't know, whatever it is, but thank you guys for subscribing. It means a lot to me. I hope you enjoy my content. Okay, so let's go back to days of the PS1. The Fifth Element. Don't get me wrong. Great movie. One of my favorite movies of all time. So naturally, a video game adaptation had to follow at some point. The studio behind this game, Callisto, had very nice success with Nightmare Creatures, which, don't get me wrong, was amazing back in the day. Doesn't handle and doesn't play quite as good as, you know, as it should, but we didn't know. And the twin stick setup really wasn't a thing yet. So... With that success, what could go wrong with the fifth element? It was built on the same engine. Um, it's the fifth element. You know, what, 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 what could go wrong? You had a, a talented studio behind it that had success in the horror genre. Let me tell you something. This is going to be a very short and brief review. The, the, all right, let, let's start with the graphics. It's running on the same engine as Nightmare Creatures. The characters, Corbin Dallas, Ruby Rod, Lilu, they don't look that bad. But don't get me wrong. They don't look great. The drawing distance, I'd say, is about the same as in Nightmare Creatures, because there's, it's not it's not too many uh, there's not too much dark environments or darker settings like Nightmare Creatures. The daylight, especially the rooftops, the beginning, you know, it's got the artificial fog, the, the distance obscuring, fucking technological limitations. Okay, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, let, let me tell you something though, for real. The graphics, they're okay. Not great. Not abysmal. The animation, all right, it's a little janky. Actually, it's very janky. The, uh, the, the texture work, believe it or not, some of the textures are good. Some of them suck. But, again, I don't know the whole behind the scenes of the game. I'm sure there's a lot more to it. But I don't know how they could be running, you know, this. if it was the same exact team at Callisto that did Nightmare Creatures, there's no reason why this game couldn't have been twice as good, visually at least. But, again, limitations, I get it. The sound, okay. Yeah, the, the voices, oh, and there's full motion video clips from the movie. In fact, the opening demo video uh, with the scenes from the movie, it practically fucking gives away the whole story. The whole story. On the, the sound end, okay, the, the gunfire, it, uh, the, the bullets, the sound effects, they're very, like, they're muffled. There, there's no there's no kick to them. The music, with the exception of the the, the opera type scene, uh, you know, the music from the movie. Otherwise, it, it's it's a pretty bland, dull, lifeless affair. I, I can't stand hearing Ruby Rod's voice uh, at any point in the game. I think the guns all sound like shit. They look like shit. Everything, the, the sound is not a highlight of this game either. Actually, the, the highlight is the fact that you can turn this game off at any point. On the controls in the gameplay end, I'm gonna just keep it very, very brief. Nightmare Creatures controls, do they hold to, to today? Don't hold up that well, but they're playable. The game, you can still play and enjoy. This fucking game, the controls are god awful. There's a button that doubles as a diving bullet fire and as your main attack. Like your punch and your shoot. Your shoot, your, uh, the X button shoots. But if you're running and shooting it, like, it makes you dive I'm all of a sudden. You, gotta, you can hold select to change the, the camera angle it's a horizontal at a horizontal placement in increments of I want to say 45 percent at a time it, it's it's fucking terrible all right Corbin and, and Lilu and it, it, just, it controls like absolute dog shit you'll be getting shot by enemies off screen before you can even see them there's the there's a semi auto lock on to the enemies but chances are you're gonna be getting hit so many times and you're gonna be saying where the fuck did it come from Diving and rolling and going behind cover in this game is it, it, it's useless. The enemies are so aggressive 
They're so unfair. They're stupid too, but they're aggressive and unfair because it seems they have a lock on to you no matter where they are. No matter where. It almost seems like you get locked on from an enemy if they're behind cover. It's that fucked up. The, the jumping, the, plat the platforming there is, forget about it. it, it it's, it's fucking pitiful. The, the nightmare creatures control scheme and the way that they moved, there was minimal platforming in that game where a jump could mean life or death. Oh, a couple spots in that. But in this game, there's tons of areas, especially even in the beginning on the rooftops, where one missed jump, you're dead. The game gives you absolutely practically no direction. It's it's an abysmal fucking experience. I, I tell you, I only I only wanted the game aside from because it was the fifth element and it seemed you know because I loved the movie when I was a kid and I, I remember I got it you know oh god got it right around the time it came out. I've never actually bought I've never received or bought a game played for ten minutes and said fuck this. Oh no, the getaway for PS2. I'm sorry, but yeah, it, it's. Activision put this garbage out. Callisto, I don't know what happened. You, Nightmare Creatures was a fucking reckoning of an awesome action horror game. And you had a great license here. I understand maybe budget, time constraints, especially with tie-in products to mo big movies. Of course, they want the fucking game out when they want it out. I get it. Graphics, uh, shit. The sound. With the exception of the, the, the music tracks from the movie, there is nothing here worth listening to. Um, I'd say put your own soundtrack on, put your own music, put your headphones if you have to try this game. The controls, the gameplay, it, it's, it's no offense to Nightmare Creatures, but this is the real fucking nightmare, okay? Uh, yeah. the, the PS1 has a lot of bombs. This is like probably towards the top of that list. This is probably fighting for second or first place to a, for, to a couple other games on the PS1. It is not an enjoyable game. Even if you love the movie, I do not recommend going out and trying to fucking pick up this trash. I usually like to talk about games that I enjoy on here. I do have to cover games that are shit. I have to cover games that prompt curiosity. Save your money. Don't waste your money. Don't go hunting this down. I don't care if you got Lilu, Corbin, uh, the, the, the priest, uh, the Plava Laguna. I don't give a fuck if you got them all tattooed on your fucking ass. All right? I don't care if, if you had your blood color changed to blue to match Plava Laguna. I, I don't give a shit if you have the fifth, if the, all the five elements tattooed on your chest and the fucking fifth element tattooed on your balls. I don't care. This is not worth your time. In fact, the one thing I will say that's great about this game is that I could put it in my cabinet and put it away, and I don't ever have to touch it again. Anyway, Callisto, I don't know. I'd have to do some homework and find out what happened with the development of this game. But, uh, it broke my heart. Anyway, hopefully the next game that I review in a, in a few days will be a, a much more positive light. I thank all my subscribers. I hope I'm glad you all enjoy my channel. And uh, yeah, the fifth element, more like the filth element. Fuck it. Ugh. Have a good one, guys.